What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back for another video. And this will be my second video of the day. Of course, I already posted my final first round mock draft of the year. So now, here's my final Browns mock draft of the year. Now, I will be doing a seven rounder because this is the last one. And I uh, got some pretty good picks in here, you know. So uh, let's see who I have the Browns taking. So first round, I got the Browns taking Miles Garrett, obviously, at first overall. And at 12, I have the Browns selecting Mitch Trubisky, quarterback out of North Carolina. Unless the Browns trade up and take Mitch, which is a possibility. You know, we'll see what happens because I've heard that they've talked to a lot of teams about trading up and even down from 12. But I think they're going to trade up and take Mitch unless he's taken before then, which I, then I could see them trading down. But for right now, I have them taking Mitch at 12. Second round, I have the Browns selecting a Malik McDowell defensive lineman out of Michigan State at 33. He would definitely be a great addition for the defensive line with Greg Williams and Clyde Simmons, who is our new defensive line coordinator. If you don't, if you don't remember him, you know, if you're an Eagles fan, you probably know who he is. You know, especially if you've been following the te that that team for a long time, because he used to be a defensive lineman himself, so he knows the positions. You know, and I think Malik McDowell will definitely be a great asset for Greg Williams on that front four. Or even, you know, when he wants to go uh, more than four-man front. Like five-man front or even, even six-man front. You never know with him. I heard he has like 42 packages for the squad, for the defense. But yeah, Ma Ma Malik McDowell. Ma 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 sound like Tekken. <laughs> Malik McDowell would uh, definitely help out the defensive line. And then at 52, I have the Browns going Fabian Moreau, corner out of UCLA. Now, I am aware he, he is hurt, and he could drop deeper into the draft, but I think we'll take him at 52. I mean, that dude's too good of a corner to pass up. We need corners, and I think Fabian would be really, really good with the Browns. Okay, moving on to the third round. We originally had two picks, but we only got one. I have the Cleveland Browns selecting homeboy Kareem Hunt, running back out of Toledo at 65. I firmly believe that we could use another running back. I mean, we got Crowell, who is yet to sign his tender. We got Duke Johnson, who is a pretty good running back who can catch the ball out of the backfield. But we need another bell cow. And I think Kareem Hunt would definitely help out this squad. The dude does not fumble. I believe he only fumbled once, and it was his freshman year. I think it was, yeah, freshman year at college. And he recovered the fumble. So he does not fumble, and he's a freaking great downhill runner, too. Trust me, I've seen the dude play in high school. Him and Mitch. Imagine that. Mitchell Trubisky and Kareem Hunt on the in the backfield at the same time. You know? That'd be cool to have Kareem play for the Browns. Coming in in the fourth round, I have the Browns selecting Derek Rivers, D-lineman out of Youngstown State. This guy was definitely one of those young bulls you heard about at the Senior Bowl. This dude's a monster. I would love, He's got that attitude, you know. He's vicious as well. And we need that kind of guy on our defensive line. He'd be more of a depth pick as the case with all of our late rounders. You know, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th rounders, which we don't got a 7th rounder this year unless we, you know, trade for one. But, yeah, I think Derek Rivers could really uh, help out with the depth at defensive line. 5th round, we have 3 picks. Uh, I have the Browns selecting Nico Siragusa, offensive lineman out of San Diego State. Ricky Seals-Jones, wide receiver out of Texas A&M. And Ryan Glasgow, defensive lineman out of Michigan in the fifth round. Siragusa will provide needed depth at the offensive line position, although through free agency, we got our starters, but we need backups. We got Spencer Drango, we got Cameron Irving, you know, but 
I think we even got Austin Ryder still. So, yeah, we got some pretty decent guys, but we need more depth. I mean, you can never have too many offensive linemen, especially when we know how injury-prone they are at times. Seems like every few years we have the injury bug at our offensive line. You know, it'd be great to have an uh, uh, eh, eh, sound like Tekken. God, Arr! it would be great to have a healthy offensive line all year long. You know, but that's very hard to do with how much work they got to do. You know, but yeah, I got Syracuse, and then Ricky Seals Jones would be a great addition to the receiving core, mainly for depth. And then Ryan Glasgow will be, again, a depth pick for the defensive line. And then in the sixth round, our final pick, I have the Browns selecting Eddie Jackson, safety out of Alabama. I do believe this guy could go earlier, but his injury could put him down deep in the draft, and I think the Browns will take a chance on him. That's what we do. We take chances on these guys that have injuries. Hence, uh, Ifo Ekpre Olamu from a few years ago. He uh, tore his ace. He destroyed his knee in the uh, college football playoff practice before the Ducks played Florida State a few years ago. Never really played for us, you know. But, yeah, I don't know what he's doing now. I know he was cut by, I think it was the Dolphins. That was his last org uh, organization he was with. I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know where he is. But Eddie Jackson is a great safety. You can never pass up a good safety. Never. So, yeah, that is my latest Browns, my last Browns seven-round mock draft. I know it's only like seven minutes or whatever long. I'm not trying to waste too much time. I just want this draft to get here already. You know, I'm tired of all the speculation and rumors. Although, I am hearing that the pick at number one is Miles Garrett. So, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if that's true. You know, and the Browns could be pulling the wool over our eyes, and they could come out of nowhere and select, you know, Mitch Trubisky at one. Which, if they did that, I would not be happy, as you may know. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. You know, uh, of course, I will have my reactions to the picks as they happen tonight. And then, of course, at the end of the draft, I'll have my review of both picks. So look out for those videos. And other than that, I'm Crazy Dog 99. It's draft day, people. I'm ready. Are you? Let's go. Let's get it on. You know. I'm Crazy Dog 99. Go Browns. And I'm out.